There's Miss yeah, Cracker. Yeah. She's serving a lilac fantasy. She's yeah. got new boobs, no soreness, no scars, just serving. What's up, you guys? My name is Courtney. This is my bedroom. It's a beautiful day in sunny Los Angeles, and uh, I'm just trying to live my best life. Can I just be honest for a second? I literally just had one of the best weekends I've had in a really long time. And for whatever reason, whenever I have like a really fun experience, I never bring you guys along for the ride. But hold on to your wig. Because for today's video, I'm actually bringing you guys along with me for my RuPaul's Drag Con experience. Come on, mama! Me and my friend Ricky actually went to this year's convention, and girl, let me tell you, we met some queens. I shared makeup secrets with RuPaul. Girl, I took some fantastic pictures. So if you're into hearing about all that good good, make sure that you click the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, so that you can be kept in my little revolutionary loop, girl. My orbit, and you can know when all my videos come out, girl. Girl, just do the right thing. Okay, girl, so if you don't know what DragCon is, it's this really cool convention, and it incorporates all of these amazing drag queens from the show, RuPaul's Drag Race. All I knew was that I wanted to meet some drag queens, and I wanted to get my life, and I wanted to snatch some photos. Latrice, thank you for being a living legend. Thank you. I love you. you. Chunky you yet so funky. You snatched last, last night, Latrice. Oh you did that. You look amazing, uh, yes. Come on, Chi-Chi. In case y'all don't know, girl, that's Jinx Monsoon, and she snatched. <laughs> Come on, Jinx. Get into the dress. Come on, girl. It sort of gives stands and really, really, really big fans of the Queens the opportunity to sort of like have that cute one-on-one -on -one time, buy their merch, get your life, make your whole year. Like, that part of it is really cool. And also, there are other like independent designers and other like big name merch booths for you to go and spend your coins on, girl. The first day of DragCon was so much fun because it was more of like a getting your bearings day. Me and Ricky had VIP, so we were able to enter that expo hall and sort of like survey the scene, see who we could see. So while we were there, we met Michelle, Alaska, Aja, and Detox. I really loved meeting Alaska. Here's our photograph. She was real sweet. She signed a little picture for me. Hold on. Let me get my picture. Yes, God Come on Alaska autograph. Yeah, she was looking real cute, but hold on. Let me tell y'all the tea Tell me why I paid money to get this picture of Alaska in drag so that I could go behind a little lace curtain to Take a picture with Alaska out of drag <laughs> Young drag queens are hustlers. But after we met those queens, we went to the like RuPaul booth to sort of find out how we could meet RuPaul the next day. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is sort of where DragCon truly begins. So the second day, me and Ricky were late because we had had such an exhausting night the night before. Girl, we were rushing into this expo hall. We were sprinting for our lives, girl. And the reason why was because there was a sort of window of time that we had picked to sort of meet RuPaul and you need to be within that window of time or else they were gonna cut the line off and then you know, spend your money and then your ass ain't meet RuPaul. Thankfully, we had VIP and that line was like a lot shorter than the general admission. So we were like right at the cutoff. I think there were like maybe two people behind Behind us and then right after that girl security came on and they said all right there's the end of the line and no one else gonna meet Rue until I think it was like 3 30 and that was two ass hours away so I know y'all clicked on this video cuz y'all want to hear about me and Rue right so let me explain the whole situation so you can get your bearings and understand why RuPaul is everything okay so in order to meet RuPaul you have to like pay for the photo and the photo girl is instant it comes right on out you come out looking real good kind of like that season one filter I personally decided to not pay to get a photograph of RuPaul so that I could use my money to meet a whole bunch of different queens. Y'all get what I'm saying? She was bowling on the budget. Girl, I'm going to a concert this weekend. <laughs> And this is one of the things that I really like about DragCon. I personally did not pay to get a photograph with RuPaul, but I was still VIP, I still had a badge, I was with Ricky, and the people working were like, oh girl, you're fine, you could just be in a corner. Just don't get in a photograph. All right, so me and Ricky go in there, right? And Ricky like has his moment, he goes, he kikis with RuPaul, they do their little snapshot moment, and then they move off to the side, and RuPaul's looking at me like, well, bitch, are you coming up for this photograph? Are you coming up for this photograph? And I'm looking at Ru like, girl, I paid the coins to get this photograph, but we get a kiki, kiki, kiki real quick, bitch. So RuPaul was so nice, and he was like, now come on over here. And so I walked on over to Ru. My hands were shaking, bitch. The Holy Spirit was taking over me because I just like, bitch, RuPaul is an icon. So I walked up to Ru and I was like, oh, 
oh my god, Rue, I think you're iconic, I think you're a legend. Y'all know how I'll be talking. Rue was like looking at me, and he was like, now what's going on with this makeup? Because it looks so good. What is that? What are you using? And he was like, the way that it's hitting your face, the light, you look so good. And y'all, can I just be honest? I was a little bit tongue-tied. I was like, uh, 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 uh. RuPaul, it's not, you know, just anybody's drag race, bitch. It's RuPaul's drag race. So, you know, it's the upper echelon. And just the fact that Ru wanted to know what kind of foundation I had on was like, whoa. RuPaul saying that my foundation looked good, so good that he thought it was skin at first until he saw me up close in the light. Bitch, like, Ru, you really have me feeling like pretty gang, sis. You know, I told him which two foundations, you know, I mixed together to, you know, get the texture, you know, when I really beat this mug, you know, for the special events, you know, when I really want to pretend like I'm going to the Met Gala, you know, when I'm showing up to the Oscars, you know, I had that kind of beat on. And girl, it was not as spectacular. It was a little Maybelline fit me, a little mocha, bitch, a little, you know, black opal. And RuPaul was like so into that. And to be honest, RuPaul didn't even have to really acknowledge me. I didn't pay to sort of like be part of that moment. But the fact that RuPaul included me in that moment, complimented me, really had me feeling like, bitch, I was on cloud nine, bitch. I was Katy Perry. Woo! As me and Ricky walked out the booth, and bitch, it was just such a moment. Thank you, RuPaul, like an icon, a legend. Oh my god, you guys, so something I really want to let you guys know, if you decide to go to DragCon next year, you have to at least do one of the nighttime shows. The Queen sort of like put together these nighttime shows, they're an additional cost, but girl, let me tell you, they're worth it. Okay, so the show was called World of Queens, it was hosted by Ginger Minj, girl, and we had Kimchi, Acid Betty, bitch, Violet Chachki was in there giving us aerial tips and tricks for our nerves, bitch. Valentina. Girl, we had Latrice Boyal up in the gig, too. Come on, auntie. And Kennedy Davenport. Shut it down. Bitch, these motherfucking queens yeah, came through, so and they good. fucking did what they needed to do. Ginger Minj brought her ass out, <laughs> and she gave us comedy, bitch. These queens came out, gave us choreography, delicious looking ass men, and good ass tunes, girl. I'm satisfied as fuck. Okay, so even though me and Ricky felt like we did so much the first and second day of DragCon, we still had like particular queens that we needed to meet. By this point, we had already met a whole bunch of queens. We met Alyssa Edwards. We did Trixie, Mattel as well. So the third day was super productive. We immediately got Shangela out the way because girl, we wasn't about to leave without me and Miss Shangie. It's Shangela, Ricky. Are you ready? It's about to go down. I'm about to meet Miss Shangie herself, and I'm ready, sis. Work! Ooh, yes, Ricky. Yes, bitch. Hey. Someone might. I was like, that's really expensive to put on. I don't, I don't really. Am I holding it? How are you? Ready? Let me just say this. We have been at DragCon, and it has been freezing in here. Don't ask why a bitch is literally sleeveless with my shit out, but like, it's cold. Ricky thinks he's literally fanning himself because he's so hot. He also changed his outfit, bitch. Get into the fashion. Come on with us as we go right back on in to the drag and the car. We knew that we really wanted to meet Monet Exchange. And it was at Monet Exchange's booth that kicked us into overdrive because all of a sudden, we found out. I'm four. Oh, what? It closes at four in here? Yeah. yeah. What? No, it was six yesterday. And with that, y'all, the race truly began. What's your name? My name is Tori. Yeah. Listen, we love him. Ricky and I. I've been doing the most this weekend, but we finally made it to Monet and all her exchanges. We're the last people to meet Monet. I'm so excited. I literally am obsessed with this tank top, y'all. Y'all, this is a sponge right off of Monet's dress. It has a little bit of her makeup on it, and it's signed by Monet. Ricky literally just bought it. His mind is so powerful. I was gonna bring one for her to sign, uh -huh. but then this happened. I want that sponge! Yes, yes! It's the piece of Drag Race history. I went to go see RuPaul as a first thing he talked about. Oh, here. It looks good. It looks great. And after that, y'all, the hunt was on. We needed to meet as many drag queens as possible before the expo hall closed. We wanted to make this experience even more worth it. And, ugh! Y'all, it was literally 
a moment. So that's April carry on. And she carrying on with Cameron Michaels. And Cameron Michaels is really that girl. In case y'all didn't know, look at her hair. Yes, looking like Sophia from SoCal. I love Kenny Davenport. She is a talented queen. She's an icon. She's a legend. Look at her. She's gorgeous. Bitch, you're talking about a queen. Someone that could jump, kick, split, serve. Is the drag con complete now that I've met Kennedy Davenport? Yeah, listen, thank you for answering that question for me. Y'all, we are in the workroom of RuPaul's Drag Race. Bitch, they're closing up. Bitch, I can't believe this. Ru, you really got a bitch gag. Morgan McMichaels is an icon. Yeah. If you don't know, bitch, now you know. It's good for a dead bitch, honey. Bitch, dead and came back to life. Kool-Aid, bitch. Head Bitch. Chi-Chi, I love you. Say it on your own seat. Are your dogs barking, girl? It hurt worse when you take the heels out. Bitch. Yes, I love it. May I have a selfie moment? I don't care. You start making way to the front. Absolutely. I'm so sorry. I know we don't have. Yes. You ready? Let's all hop off the table, bitch. Oh, wait. Did I mention that everyone at DragCon looked amazing? I met so many amazing, stylish, fun, funny people. Guys, look who I bumped into. Hey. My favorite uh -huh. Greek person. Favorite? Uh, oh, wow. That's such a high honor. No, yeah. You're my favorite Greek person. Thank you. Bitch. <laughs> awesome. What an unexpected fucking delight. Yeah. By the of way, my I, drag con. Uh, I just actually released a song a week ago. It's yeah. called Dummy, Dummy, Dummy. If you want to check it out, Spotify, Apple Music. Bitch, iTunes, get this promo stuff. so we can get you yeah, these streams, yeah. bitch. Girl, we're at drag con. Wanna find the tea, girl? Okay. Let me tell you, tea. Some of these queens, they be having booths. Okay. Lined up for the booth club. Because the drag queens want about the attitude is real. Oh, oh. DragCon was absolutely an amazing experience. I cannot wait to go next year and turn an entire look. All right, y'all. It's the grand finale. We on our way out. We just finessed so much. Sorry, so sorry. Sorry, sorry. Girl, we done walked the wrong way. Security had to get us together, girl. We done met all the queens that we wanted to meet. We right? Thought, we thought it was closing in two hours, but it closed now at four and yes. six. So we just like, <laughs> we literally <laughs> sprinted through the expo hall to meet all the queens. I had so much fucking fun this weekend. Yes, this is my black ass going through a metal detector. Yes, it is. I hope that y'all enjoyed yep. this vlog. Because, bitch, this has honestly been. Really? Just like whip out and like. Yeah. Bitch, I was ready. You never know who going to pop on this out, bitch. Out. Bitch, this way. Oh, bitch, yeah, you, give it to me. Damn it. Richard. What's been your favorite part of DragCon? Meeting the queens in general, but like my favorite ones I met, I think it was really cool to meet Rue. Cause Rue was really engaging and like there and like, it wasn't a quick like, here we are, let's go. It was really cool to meet Rue, I think. I agree. Yeah. But also meeting Monet was fun. Save your coins for the DragCon because I feel it's like the queens it. really, yeah, the queens really make you feel like it's worth it. You know what I mean? If you really like a drag queen, um, Bianca Del Rio, Laganja Estranja, who I'm just realizing I didn't see. Oh yeah. Laganja, where was you at? Sis. If you really have a queen that you really want to support and see, trust me when I say, trust us, bitch. And I know, I know y'all ass gonna trust him. Yes. Trust us when we say, bitch, <laughs> Dracon is the girl. They, it's so organized. It's organized. The staff is nice, friendly, yeah. helpful. If they don't know the answer to something, bitch, they are running to someone to find out the answer. Yeah, it was great. It was honestly a no great complaints. experience. Anyway, you guys, I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this, but I really wanted to share this experience with you guys, bitch. If you guys enjoyed watching this little vlog, this little sneak peek into my life, be sure to subscribe, give a thumbs up. What is your favorite part of the vlog? Like, bitch, what part did you kiki and giggle at, bitch. And until next time, you guys, coming from this Uber, like, li like girl, literally this Uber, bitch, I brought y'all on the road. I know y'all are shook, bitch. I brought y'all <laughs> on the road. But until next time, you guys, my name is Courtney. This is an Uber on the way to my house. Don't forget that the world keeps spinning and so shall you. And ugh, I'll be seeing ya. Stop giving a damn about when they tell me how I won't make it out.